Oceanside is growing to be one of the most desirable beach towns in San Diego County. Let's see if it's a good fit for you. Oceanside is a beach town at the northernmost end of San Diego County. What are some of the highlights? Well, the beach, of course. <laughs> it's a surfer's paradise in Oceanside. It's home to several surf spots um, and just short drives to many other just to the north and to the south. In just a few short years, the culinary scene in Oceanside has exploded. You have so many excellent dining options now. And there are new hotels that are beautiful right there in downtown Oceanside across from the pier uh, for you to be able to take a nice little staycation if you choose. There's also year-round weekly farmer's markets, one in the morning and one at sunset. I mean, who needs anything else? The Oceanside Pier is a popular fishing spot and it offers one spectacular view of the coastline. So if you come for a visit to check out Oceanside, Side, walk to the end of that pier, turn around and take in the view. Uh, and if you are a boater, you're going to love Oceanside because there's a fantastic marina at the very, very north end of Oceanside. It couldn't be more amazing for boaters' lifestyles, right? Um, one of the really nice things about Oceanside too is that it is a convenient place to live for all your daily life items. So what I mean by that is you're never very far away from uh, from golf courses, from your convenient stuff like Costco's, big box stores like Home Depot, uh, your Target stores, and so much more. So with a population of 175,000 residents, let's think about the numbers here. We have a 200 square mile military base by the name of Camp Pendleton on the north end of Oceanside. Now, this is the buffer between San Diego County and Orange County, which is fantastic, right? So it's this beautiful open land that you drive through before you even get into San Diego if you're coming from LA and Orange County. It's a great little transition zone. But with 175,000 um, with 175,000 residents, 26% of those residents are employed by the military. Uh, you'll find a lot of people, though, who commute down into San Diego or into um, Orange County because it is such a convenient location and price of housing, frankly, is less expensive in Oceanside than it is in many of those communities to the north or even to the south, as you will hear in just a moment. The other really fantastic thing about um the location of Oceanside is that if you're a traveler, San Diego International Airport is south in downtown um, San Diego, and that is about a 45 minute drive. And if you go just north, you can go up to John Wayne in Irvine and get the airport there to go to other local places. Uh, there's also Palomar McClellan Airport, uh, which is a small regional airport just about 15 minutes away. So you have options, but let's get into the uh, September 2022 market report for um, for Oceanside. Now, I'm going to say something that might shock a few of you, especially if you're not from California, but Oceanside is surprisingly affordable for a coastal community. The median house price in September 2022 in Oceanside was $775,000. I know, that's a big nut. I get it. But to live on the coast in San Diego, it costs a pretty penny. So Oceanside is a growing community. There is still um, equity to be had. At $775,000 for a coastal community, it's still a good investment. Now, because Oceanside is still growing, you will see that uh, you know, it is still a seller's market, but that is softening a little bit. And this is these are the numbers that uh, support that. So like I said, seven hundred and seventy-five thousand was the median asking price, um, or the median sold price for September twenty twenty-two. In communities just to the south at Carlsbad, the median price was one point three million. So you know you're still in you're still in a nice uh, affordability rate for San Diego on the beach. Number of homes sold. So it dropped a little bit in September from August. I mean, only about 7%. I mean, in August, there was 165 homes sold. And in September, there's 153 homes sold. But here's the good news. Um, out of those homes, 50% of those homes sold for below asking price. That's great. Now, 
Obviously, still 27% were sold above asking price and 24% were sold at asking price, but 50% below asking price is a good number to watch. So that's what we want to keep track of, right? Now, this is another great number. Last year, homes were selling like this. 11 days was the average sale time, days on market for a home in September of 2021. This year, people are being a little more uh, cautious with the way that they purchase a home in 27 days on the market in September 2022 was the number for days on the market for homes in Oceanside. So that's good news. So it is less competitive right now than it was a year ago. So keep that in mind. Now, if you are interested in a home in Oceanside and you would like to keep up with the information so that you know what the market looks like in Oceanside or any of the markets here in San Diego County for that matter, reach out however you found me, whether it's here on YouTube, whether you want to DM me on Instagram you know, or send me an email. Go ahead and let's chat because I'm guaranteeing you there is probably a community in San Diego that fits the lifestyle you're looking for. Please subscribe, hit that little bell. We will be back with you next week with another market report from a different community in San Diego. We'll see you soon. Have a great week.